everyone. Welcome to the special edition of Education Matters. I'm Ray Pinney. I'll be your host for this uh, eighth grade dialogue. We'll be talking to eighth grade students from the county of Burlington. We'll be talking to them about the pandemic and their thoughts about it, about their entire educational experience, and a little bit about their future. Um, for you seventh and eighth graders, uh, for you eighth graders, your seventh and eighth grade year was not a normal seventh and eighth grade year from previous students. You, you had the pandemic to deal with. Uh, and that changed your educational experience. So um, what I would like to do ask you is, what were some of the lessons you learned? Maybe a positive thing that you took out of it? What were their biggest challenges? And we'll start with Ariana. Hi, I'm Ariana Couture. I attend Malton Middle School. And what was your experience of the, the pandemic? It was a very hard two years educationally, socially, not seeing my teachers and friends face to face was very hard, but everyone got through it and now we're here and we're able to do things like this and I have my voice and I get to, I'm so happy that I was chosen to voice my opinion on it. Great, great. Uh, I like how, you, how enthusiastic and positive you are. Cheyenne, what about you? Hi, I'm Cheyenne Sight. I go to school at Wanna Tree Middle School in Delanco. Um, the time during COVID was pretty difficult because I couldn't interact with my friends and I couldn't do hands-on learning. Um, I also had many distractions and it was hard to focus. Um, and it was hard going back into school because uh, I was so used to being home and then we had to wear the masks all the time. And I learned to not take things for granted because we had in sixth grade, we just had a normal day of school and then we had two days off, I mean, two weeks off and then we didn't go back to school. And it was all virtual. Chase, what about you? Um, hi, I'm Chase Dubuque. I go to Delran Middle School. And my experience with COVID-19, it was very difficult for me because I couldn't focus. And like with ADHD and everything, um, you have to stay on task. And that was, that was really hard. Okay, today, what about you? Hi, I'm Tanae Mudamari from uh, Northern Burlington Middle School in Columbus. And the hardest part about school throughout the pandemic for me has been treating school as school, if that makes sense, and keeping up, uh, like maintaining grades and uh, working hard as I normally do throughout regular years. Uh, online, on Zoom is really difficult to avoid procrastinating and staying on task. Um, something I learned from the pandemic was to take the opportunities you have and not take them for granted and to follow through with your opportunities because the opportunities that presented themselves throughout the pandemic became for less than you normally would have. So to follow through with those is what I learned. Uh, Jesse? Hi, my name is Jesse Viracutai. I come, I attend Mapleshade High School. And a, the pandemic was positive and negative for me. I'm more of a hands-on learner, so it was hard to socialize and all that. But I did learn that we have to appreciate the little things in life and not, yeah. Okay, Samantha, what about you? Hi, my name is Samantha Danowski and I attend Cinnamonson Middle School in Cinnamonson Township. Um, I was virtual all last year, um, even though uh, we had the option to go back, I stayed virtual and that was really difficult because um, all of the kids who were virtual and my friends who were virtual started going back and I was um, one of um, a, a little bit of kids who um, were online the whole year. Um, it was difficult because um, I just couldn't procrastinate. Um, so um, something positive I got out of that was that um, I just learned to just do everything as best as I can because I wanted to keep my grades up um, because if I didn't, I wouldn't do well in school. Owen. My name's Owen Wu. I attend Harrington Middle School in Mount Oral. In Mount Oral. Uh, this, this years were tough because um, time management was really difficult because if you decided to like not do a lot of work in one class you'd have to do it make it up at some point during the day and a lot of times you want to do other stuff later in the day so it was difficult to find that like time use your time management skills to find out and that was one of the biggest lessons from this whole time 
time management skills are really important and learning how to use them properly was really important. And it was a really good lesson we got from this time. Okay, last but not least, Haley. Hi, I'm Haley Carson from Helenport Middle School in Pemberton. And I feel like during the pandemic, I struggled with like focusing and stuff because I'm like someone who needs to be in a classroom and have someone like working with me because I just am really bad at focusing. But I feel like I like that was kind of a struggle for me because it's just like all those distractions when you're at home. But I learned that sometimes you have to be like the boss of yourself and you have to like make yourself focus. You have to like tell yourself like, okay, this is what I'm doing now. And like, I can like, you know, chill and do this later. But right now is work and I need to do this. Wow. Yeah, that's a great lesson. I think you all were very honest about the hard adjustment it was for you to to do this, uh, especially pretty much had to do it overnight. Um, so you talked about your trials and adjustments. Um, was there a teacher, it doesn't have to be in the last two years, was there a teacher or staff member who stands out that made your educational experience better and made you a better student? Uh, and uh, Ariana, we'll start with you again. Um, there's definitely a teacher, especially this year, my algebra one teacher, Ms. Stelvecchia, who was really beneficial just to my learning experience and my education. Math had always been a subject that I struggled with a little bit, but he always took the time to make sure I understood the lessons and reassure them. And he always built on them so I knew what I was doing in the future. He also teaches like a high school teacher and treats us like high schoolers and holds us to the expectation as such. And I think that's going to be really beneficial in my future. Great. Cheyenne? Um, I would say my history teacher, Mr. Shields, because um, I love learning about history okay. and he always learned, like we always learn something new every day. And he's also taught me how to be independent and I use that in all my other classes. Chase. Um, I would definitely say that my guidance counselor helped me a lot um, get through the pandemic. They kept me organized and um, they always contacted me when I needed help to just check on me. Today? I would say my eighth grade science teacher, Mrs. Henry, was the most beneficial throughout the uh, last two years because despite the restrictions, such as social distancing and wearing a mask, she managed to keep the class interactive. And especially for me, I can't really learn unless the class is interactive. So she made, she made the class fun yeah, and yet still maintained the topic despite having restrictions, so yeah. Great, great. Jesse, what about you? I'd like to talk about my fourth grade teacher. He not only taught me like the academic curriculum, he also taught me the little things in life and the life lessons he got out of it. Okay, Samantha? Um, I would like to talk about my um, language arts teacher, Ms. Benito. Um, I um, language arts has always been a subject that I was okay in, but I didn't really like it. Um, it was a little difficult for me, but this year, um, I just, I don't, I don't know, but, um, I just started liking it. And I think it, I think it is because of the teacher. Um, but I think now that, uh, that I enjoy it, I see the challenge as a good thing rather than something that was like, something difficult for me to do okay that's great how they turned you into liking a subject that you weren't keen on owen my math teacher this year Ms. polsky she's helped me a lot because she pushes us to strive for our best and if we don't achieve our best she to helps us look into the future on what we can control and try and strive for the best again since we can only control the future and not what's happened in the past haley what about you? Um, I have two teachers for this. So my teacher, Ms. Robertson, that I do coding and like STEAM and stuff with, and my- And I guess can we- Okay, ju let's just wait till that's over yeah. with. Sorry okay. about that. Start over again, Haley. Um, I would say for, I have two teachers. I would say Ms. Robertson, my coding and like STEAM teacher and stuff, and my chorus teacher, Ms. Presley, because they're both like, they've just, Ms. Presley helped put on like a great play and stuff this year. And I feel like she just really helped me a lot in the arts. And Ms. Robertson just like teaches me more. Like, I feel like, like, I just feel like I can talk to her about stuff and she's just like 
one of my favorite teachers. Great, great. And I've been telling the students uh, when this is released, this video, please share that with the teacher that you talked about or teachers. Um, so uh, we're going to ask your opinion on a, a few things on how to make our schools better. If the principal or the superintendent or someone in a leadership position came up to you and said, what do you think we could do and change in our school that would make it better for more students or most students? Uh, Ariana, what, what are your thoughts? What would you say? Um, even though we live in a very modern virtual world, I think sometimes it's very crucial to go back to paper and pencil and do some work on there. Personally, I find it very helpful and I retain information much better when I take the time to like slow down and read what I am trying to learn. Um, and my language arts teacher this year, Miss Healy, has definitely done this. She constantly does group discussions and she has us annotate our text that we're reading. And this has really helped me. And I think it would help a lot of other students in many other schools. Cheyenne? If I could change one thing to make other students' education better, it would be flexible seating because being comfortable helps students stay on She track. needs to clap. Well, well, start over, but you have to clap or something, get the box over to you. If I could change one thing to make other students' education better, it would be flexible seating because being comfortable helps students stay on task and be more productive. Okay, Chase, what about you? Um, I would definitely change the amount of like polls that we have in our school because um, you always want what the students want, which would fit a lot of people and all their like customs and what they would want. So I'd say live polls. Uh, Tanae? Uh, I would personally like more programs for students who work at different paces. Like, um, so a lot of times in classes, you see students who finish with time to spare and others who take more time to understand a certain topic. So I think more programs for students to work at their own pace would be helpful. That is true. We all learn at different pace, uh, paces. Jesse? In my school, and I think in many others, there are people or students who are balancing a lot on their hands. Sometimes they may not be able to do it at home because it's too distracting. And I think if we add a club or a classroom inside our school just for people to do their work, it would be much more helpful. Samantha? Um, I know that right now I'm only in middle school and uh, next year there will be more programs, but I think it's really important to add more, um, I think like elective classes because um, the options right now are very limited and they're, they're kind of, I don't know, I, they don't really, uh, they're maybe not interesting to as many kids as they uh, would like to join the class. So I think in the future, if there were more electives classes at my school, um, people would be able to enjoy what they're learning. Okay. I've heard that one before. Uh, Owen. I think one of the things that needs to be changed in my school is to change uh, lunch to a whole period. In my school, they cut lunch down to 30 minutes instead of like the normal period, which is 40 minutes. And I feel like that extra 10 minutes would give students enough time to bring their focus back to class and, you know, spend more time, like give them a little bit more time to relax because school is very stressful. And just the time in class to the time where we get a break is very limited and it isn't a good ratio. And personally I think it would be better if we just changed it back to a full period of lunch. Interesting, that's a good point. Uh, Haley, what about you? Um, I think if someone came to me and asked what I could do to better the school, I would say, more like try to urge students more to get involved and have more things for them to get involved with because while we do have a lot of clubs here I feel like we are limited at the same time and there is stuff that like there's things that don't interest kids as much so I feel like if we had more opportunities for them to get involved and more things that interest them then more kids would be involved in school and have more opportunities. Great very good suggestions I hope your principals when they listen to this uh, pull you aside and say elaborate a little bit more. Okay, the last question, it's a two-part question. Uh, pretty soon you'll be graduating and going to high school next fall. Uh, what are you looking forward to at high school? What are you uh, a little nervous about? And then the other part of that question is, what are your thoughts after high school? Are you going to college? Is there a trade you're looking at? Um, or maybe you've picked out a field of study already for college. Maybe you want to go into biology or math. So uh, we'll start once again with uh, Ariana. I would 
attending Cherokee High School and I'm really excited for that as I know through many peers and teachers and just the orientation that Cherokee has many different programs and classes that will help broaden my knowledge in every subject. I've already picked out my classes so I'm excited to take courses that I enjoy and will be challenged in. As for after high school, I definitely know that I want to go to a good college to learn the most that I possibly can. And as for after that, I know that I have skills in leadership, just talking and dialogue in general, and I would say I'm a pretty good student. So any career path that would help me use all of those skills and to hopefully help people would be something I'm definitely interested in. Cheyenne? Um, I am most looking forward to having, um, oh wait. I'm most looking forward to having a new start, but I'm a little nervous to meet new people and I'm in being in a totally different school. After high school, I hope to get into a good college. When I grow up, I hope to be working in a hospital with babies. And I hope that high school and college will get me there. All right, Chase, what about you? Um, I'm definitely most excited um, to try classes that I never took part in before. And it's like a whole new experience and like it's like a restart. Um, I'm definitely nervous about making new friends and adjusting to like the community and um, the actual school itself. For college, um, I have many hopes of being successful uh, after college. So I want to attend like a better educational school. Uh, Tanae? Uh, in high school. For high school, I'm most excited about the amount of classes that students have the opportunity to take. There's so much variety and there's so many different difficulty levels of classes. So I think it suits more students' uh, uh, likenesses. Uh, I'm nervous at the same time for the classes because the classes obviously get much more difficult and the pace that they move at is much quicker. So I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to maintain those grades. As for after high school, I plan on going to college. And then after college, I want to become an aeronautical engineer. Okay, very good. Jesse, what about you? For high school, I'm actually going to BCIT and it will be a new atmosphere, new people. I'm excited, but yet nervous. Uh, after high school, I would like to pursue a vet career. And oh. Okay, Samantha, what, what about you? Um, so I think I'm most excited for um, meeting new people and um, the programs that my high school will have, um, just more, there are more options there. Um, I am a bit nervous about like navigating the school itself. I, it, it really only will take me about like two weeks to know where I'm going, but um, after afterwards, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, for future plans, I plan to go into the Navy. And um, I don't know, I was just really interested in that. And um, like, as a profession, I want, um, maybe even if the Navy doesn't work out, um, I hope to be a district attorney. Oh, okay. I was nervous about that when I went to high school too, getting lost or being late for class, because uh, the building was so much bigger. Owen, what about you? Um, in high school, I'm nervous about just classes, like the workload and the difficulty of the classes, but something I'm really excited for is athletics. You know, I'm a wrestler and I hope to succeed there and have the coaches better me. And after high school, I want to attend the Naval Academy and I hope to wrestle there and that'll lead me into my service in the Navy. And hopefully I can maintain the job in the Navy and have that be my career. Okay, you might even see Samantha if you're in the Navy. So, um, okay, Haley, what about you? Um, I think for high school, I'm most nervous about navigating the school and also the classes because they're going to get harder. And I feel like the workload is going to get harder and I just really hope I can maintain my grades. And I also, and then I'm, but I'm also looking forward to theater and chorus because I will be doing chorus and theater and joining the Fame Academy when I'm in high school. And I'd like to learn a little bit more about stage makeup while I'm there, because after high school, I'm going to get my business degree in college. And then I will be going on to hopefully own my own salon and become a makeup artist or hopefully maybe go to like Hollywood and do movie stars makeup or like makeup for like movie stars or like theater makeup. 
Oh, great. You have it all planned out. Okay. Good luck with everything, Haley. Uh, good luck to all of you. I, I loved your uh, honesty throughout this entire uh, interview. Uh, I think you all will be successful because you all have a good focus. You, you persevered through a pandemic, and I think you'll continue to persevere. So I hope you all enjoyed uh, the thoughts of these eighth graders from uh, Burlington County, who next year will be in high school, and uh, down the road we'll see they'll be successful.